Good afternoon, Year 2. So your story today is George's Dragon at the fire station. Now I've decided to read outside. It is such a glorious day. I do apologise if the wind suddenly messes up my plans. But let's get back to the story. George's pet dragon, Sparky, was snoring loudly. Wake up, Sparky, called George. Today is the open day at the fire, st fire station. We don't want to miss it. <sniffs> Squeaked Sparky excitedly. He leapt up and sent the alarm clock flying. Wakey shaky, he gasped. I suppose even Sparky should be safe at a fire station, joked Mom, as Sparky gobbled down his breakfast and accidentally burnt another hole in a tablecloth. Oh dear. Of course he will, won't you, Sparky, smiled George. Sparky nodded happily and knocked over George's dad's cereal. Whoops. <coughs> At the fire station, firefighter Lottie and firefighter Fred were showing everyone around. Whee! Lots of children were having fun sliding down the fireman's pole. Zippy fun doodle, laughed Sparky, rushing up to have a go. No, Sparky, stop, cried George. You're too big. But it was too late. Sparky's bo bottom was stuck fast. George pushed one end. Firefighter Fred pulled the other. Got a botty biggie, gulped Sparky. Whomp! Sparky shot free at last. But now I'm stuck, gasped Firefighter Fred. It was the fire demonstration next. You will behave, won't you, Sparky, said George. Sparky waved his tail excitedly and sent a sand bucket flying. Luckily, Dad was wearing a safety helmet. Phew! Right, announced firefighter Lottie. In this room, we set fire to things and then practice putting out the flames. Today, we are going to safely set fire to that box. Children, please don't do this at home. It's getting very smoky in here, coughed George. Sniffle. Wiffle, tickle, said Sparky. His nose was feeling very prickly. Sparky sniffed a huge snuffly snort. Swoosh! Sizzle! Oh no, a giant flame shot out from his snout. Now the teeny weeny fire was a big blaze. Sparky, cried George. Oops, a shamey flamey, squeaked Sparky in embarrassment. Don't worry, I'll soon put the fire out, firefighter Lottie said. Quickly she unraveled the long water hose. Stand back, everyone, she warned. You don't want to get wet. Firefighter Lottie turned the big red water wheel to on. Everyone held their breath and watched. That's strange, frowned firefighter Fred, peering down the hose. Why isn't any water coming out? Sparky, whispered George, you're standing on the hose pipe. Sploosh! There was plenty of water coming out now. Whoopsie daisy. Droppy soppy, blushed Sparky. We are soaked, said firefighter Fred crossly. If Sparky can't behave, he must go home. Poor George, he felt so disappointed but just then ding 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 the fire alarm bell rang loudly it was a real emergency action stations we've had a 999 call shouted firefighter lottie mrs trimble's kitchen sorry mrs trimble's kitten fluffy is stuck up a tall tree we need to rescue it wow gasped the children excitedly Nina, Nina, off the fire engine's bed, blue lights flashing. Everyone followed to see what would happen. <laughs>